<laughs> response generalization. Here's an example of response generalization. No, I'm not going to take my shirt off in front of the camera. But if I did, to change my clothes, that would be an example of res stimulus, response, generalization, response, generalization in the same stim. Yeah, that would be an example of response generalization. Sorry, sometimes it gets confusing. It's really simple, folks. The response generalizes in the presence of the same stimulus. You, you watching right now, you are the stimulus. So if I see you, I could do one thing. I could wave, hello, or I could say, hi, how are you? I could do all sorts of stuff, right? Um, so all sorts of different responses that I could make in the presence of you. So the stimulus stays the same, but the response changes, right? Um, so the response changes means it's generalizing. So one stimulus can produce all sorts of different types of responses through the process of response generalization. Trust me, as you get older, just wait until you see your parents. <sighs> you end up with so much response generalization. Oh, I don't really like you, but I love you, and I don't like you, and you're awesome, and you're not. You, you, you just, I wouldn't, you. <laughs> all those things happen um, when you're older and you have to deal with your parents. Anyway, I love you, Mom. Take care. I know you're watching these videos. By the way, she does actually like every single one of these. So that one's for you, Mom. <laughs>